Welcome to the worm party. Woo. All right, welcome to the worm party. We're going to look at some samples today from a man-made pond from Riverside, California. Some moss, some little creatures. Uh, we're looking at this under the microscope in dark field. And we're just going to see what we see. I got a... I got a I got a sample over here. This is the same sample we looked at yesterday. Uh, I did a stream on YouTube. Uh, right now I'm streaming on YouTube, Twitch, and Periscope. Uh, Worm Party on uh, YouTube, Worm Party on Periscope, and on Twitch I'm Worm Party One because somebody took Worm Party, I guess. Uh, I don't know, so I'm Worm Party One on Twitch. Anyway, we'll probably find some worms because we always do find worms. Uh, almost always. Or some worm-like things. Rotifers kind of look like worms. I thought they were worms for a long time because of the way that they move around. Uh, but they're not really worms. So, you know. They kind of move around like inchworms, though, you know. Kind of like an inchworm kind of moves until they, until they get, you know, stationed somewhere. And then they, they do their little rotifer thing. So anyway, I've got a sample here I'm going to drop some drops for anybody who's been watching my stream you might have noticed uh i got a microphone set up today i got a green screen i got um, a better camera working today this is a, just a webcam that i had uh that's just a, it's better than the webcam that's on my computer so i just thought i'd try it out and it does the green screen a little bit better a little bit better tomorrow i get some lights hey you know just cuz, just cuz, you know, it's fun. That's why we do this. Um, oh, I wanted to keep this uh, dropper. Make sure I keep it with this sample. No, no cross contamination, okay? So I did about five drops on here. Uh, I'm using a depression slide, which is a slide with a little, you know, dip in the center, like a little concave little dip in the center so that it can hold the water and this way I get there's there's an advantage and a disadvantage the advantage is that you can put more material in a drop in in a on a slide and you can look through more material than you would with a cover slip and a flat slide where you would just use one drop and I can use about five to eight drops sometimes depending on how much solid stuff there is in there usually uh, the disadvantage, of course, is that I have to focus a lot. So, there's that. But, um, okay, slides in place. Let's see what we see. Uh, right off the bat, something something started uh, moving there. I'm just going to move my chat window out of the way here a little bit. So that I can see what's going on in here. 
So uh, again, actually, let me show you real quick the uh, location where we uh, took the sample. We have a duck friend visiting us while we're collecting. Get some of the moss in there. Yeah, are you getting a bunch of gross stuff? Yeah. Yeah. That's where all the tardigrades and everything live. In the poopies. There's a duck friend. So yeah, there you go, some duck friends. Um, there's some movement right over here, so let's see what's going on. Um, so right off the bat, it looks like we have a nematode. And, you know, that is, you know, a worm party. I think that's what you'd call a worm party right there. You know, he's got a rhythm. He wriggles around. He gets stuck in the moss. I don't know why. These guys just get stuck there and they go back and forth. But he's a sizable guy. That's a sizable nematode there. Come out. Come out. You know, it's fitting. My first stream on Twitch. And I open up to a worm on Worm Party. Welcome to the worm party. Sorry for the jiggling. Anytime I touch the microscope or the desk, uh, you see some jiggling. Even if I, even if I go in to touch the uh, focus a little bit, there's always a little bit of jiggling. I use it to my advantage to find living and or dead things. Or to, uh, sometimes I use it to try to move uh, material out of the way to see something. This, it wouldn't be very useful in this case, I don't think. Uh, but this guy is very active. He's, uh, he looks like he's been eating well. So I'm, I'm happy for him. He's been sitting in the test tube for a couple of days. Or for a day. A couple of days. One day. One day, basically. This was captured, this sample was collected yesterday. Happy New Year. He's a wriggling little nematode, roundworm. And uh, yeah, He's not too fast, but he does move around a lot. He's he's very large, actually, because I'm only on the first objective here. I usually only use the first two objectives when I'm looking at um, things in the depression slides. The third objective uh, gets the magnification quite higher, quite uh, quite a bit higher, but it uh, there's a risk of touching the lens with the water since the water rides sort of high, uh, and there's no there's no need to risk that, so. Uh, but if uh, I'm thinking about, you know, from time to time going to a flat slide with a cover slip and using one drop of water uh, just to uh, be able to use that third objective and, and see some things that are maybe a little bit smaller. But here on the first objective, we're at uh, about 100 times magnification. And this worm is giant. He's a giant. In in this world, in this scale, he's enormous. Yeah. yeah. Um, I could even uh, now go to the second objective here. If he doesn't move around too much, pull the focus back. And we can see some of his insides because, you know, these guys are so small that light passes right through their bodies. Looks like you can see maybe some in, uh, 
intestinal tract there. Uh huh. And some other things. Oh, focus, focus. Oh, now he's like, he's all wrapped around in three dimensions, so he's a little bit difficult to film here. All right, I'm gonna back out. He's a little bit easier to see on the wide angle because he's so big. That's what she said. Um, so I'm gonna go scan through this drop a little bit and see what else we might be able to see. Hello in the chat. I see four people watching right now combined across the uh, three platforms that I'm streaming on right now. There's an itty bitty thing kind of swimming around in a circle. That could be either an animal or uh, a plant. Going in that little circle there. I can try to get in on him, but uh, we could try it. Let's go in. Pull back on the focus. I got to move up a little bit. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, that could be uh, an algae. A self-propelling algae. Which, yes, there is such a thing. I just only found out about such a thing uh, a few days ago. I, we, are, we, are, we are not experts on this. So if there's anybody out there who knows what we're looking at, please leave a comment of what you, if you know. Or if you want to just give him a little name. What's up, Fred? Fred is the go-to name, but you know, sometimes you might want to name him based on uh, the way it moves, or uh, based on what you think he might be up to. But yeah, that looks like a little self-propelling algae. I like the way he kind of wriggles around. It's hard to focus on, but he's pretty cool. Oh, lost him. There he is. There he is. Yeah, so I've got some other streams up on YouTube where we've looked at uh, several different things. Uh, rotifers, paramecium. Um, I'm really looking for the water bear, the uh, tardigrade, of course. But, of course, anything else, too, that's you know interesting to look at. And so far, we have found uh, things that fit that description. Um, last night, we found something that I couldn't ever, I could not identify, and I still can't identify it. Uh, it was um, kind of creepy, kind of uh, insect-like. There's that nematode again there. If you like nematodes, leave a comment. If you like worms and worm parties, show your support for worms and worm parties. So um, I've been playing around a little bit with uh, this uh, streaming thing. I'm still a kind of a grandpa when it comes to this stuff. I'm still learning, you know. So if somebody leaves a comment and I don't see it, um, I apologize, even though I'm asking for comments. Uh, well, I want to test it. I want to see if it all works. Uh, so this is my first stream on Periscope and my first stream on Twitch and about my 10th stream on YouTube. Looking for bugs. Here's a paramecium. Looking for all kinds of little guys like this. Yeah, he's got uh, little cilias on his body. Sometimes you can see it, especially around his head, because he uses it to, you know, move water around, move food into his mouth. And the cilia is all over its body to move around, swim around. And it looks like it's uh, doing pretty good in there usually see a lot more of them. You usually see them in kind of uh, groups. But um, I usually find them 
just kind of chilling by themselves, especially in this sample. We looked at this sample yesterday on a stream, but other than that, we haven't really looked at it. Um, yeah, so there's all kinds of nice little pretty things. Nice little pretty things that look like they might what are these little slender things? Are they moving? Are they moving on their own or are they just moving when I move the thing? What do we got here? What's that there? A slow paramecium? Yeah, maybe he's just kind of just kind of chilling there on the bottom. He's moving on his own, just very slowly. There's some other little things down there moving. Some other little itty bitty little things moving. They're far too small. I'm already on the second objective here, so those some of those things are far too small. Now I can also, uh, of course, I can digitally zoom in here. And we can see, maybe we can see a little bit better of what's going on down here. Look at, there's a lot of little things moving down here. A lot of little guys moving. Some bacteria. Maybe some of them. Try to focus here a little bit more. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets on this layer you've got a lot of things that are in you know different focal lengths and the uh, microscope gets very very tight it's very uh, it's a very thin slice of depth of field yeah there's definitely a lot of life going on in here on different levels keep scanning through here see what we find Looking for tardigrades. Looking for any kind, anything that looks interesting. And we'll probably find a worm party or two, uh, like we did right off the bat here. Yeah, all sorts of nice, pretty things to look at. It's almost like a galaxy, you know. But it's, um, now this is 100 times magnification. I've got some digital zoom going on here, which I should go back and decrease this a little bit so I can see the whole frame. But, uh, oh, there goes a little fast guy, a little fast Fred. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, too fast. Oh, hey, warm party going on tiny little worm right in the center they like to hang out by the plants they like to get stuck jerk around There's always a worm party. There's like a little, uh, looks like a little algae swimming around in there too. Little green algae guy. All right, I'm going to go back out to the, oh, before I do that, it, it does look like there's like an eggs, egg-like thing, a couple, maybe a couple egg-like things in the frame, which are always quite interesting looking to me and I always wonder what it is if anybody knows and then we've got it uh, looks like another type of 
algae that is also self-propelling right here in the center of the screen. I'm going to go, well, I know I can't go tighter, but that's sort of what they look like. Of course, that could be something that could be a bacteria as well. It's crawling around on the bottom there. Okay, I'm going to go back out here to the first objective and s keep scanning. Let's see what we can find. There's a lot of life in here. What's going on over here? Another nematode? Yep. Another large roundworm. Maybe it's the same one. Did I come back to the same area? I don't think so. I think he's another. I think he's a new one. The other one seemed bigger. And, of course, he's stuck in some plant material because that's what they seem to do all the time. Whoa, what's going on over here? What's going on down there? There's a paramecium near the bottom of the screen. And looks like another one of those. Now, I can't tell if this is, you see this? It looks like two paramecians stuck together. Are they doing it? Two paramecians stuck together. Is that what we're looking at there? Is one eating the other one? One's bigger than the other one. And it seems like one is driving. And I've seen this before. And the other one's just kind of hanging on. But it looks like two paramecium stuck together. There's actually a, quite a few paramecium in this shot. two stuck together in the lower left. You've got one at the top of the screen. You've got one up to the upper right. Um, yeah. Yeah, those um, those little guys that are kind of hanging out at the bottom. Um, let's see. Do I even have? I don't. I need to add my. I need to come back over here. And grab. My uh, camera. And pop it in. Uh, right here so that I'm here um, so that you can see that right there I think that's what we're looking at anyway looks like it's called the pinularia or the navicula which has uh, like a little um, nucleus right in the center it looks like so yeah I mean, we're just looking online, and uh, there's kind of some visual guides you can find for identifying some of these guys. There's another one of those, either a uh, pinularia or navicula. I don't probably butchering that. I'm just a guy with a microscope.
I'm not a scientist. There's some nice bunches of moss. Honey bunches of moss. That's a good cereal. You remember that one? From the 80s? It was um, not very crunchy. It's more spongy. Soaks up milk real good. So that's uh, this thing here. Looks similar to that. Long slender thing. That to me looks more like the Pinulara. Here we go over on the right here too. You see that guy moving around. Pinulara. In fact, there's if you look, there's a bunch of them. They're all over the place. It's weird that all these little things what are they doing? They move pretty slow. They they don't really squish like worms. They seem pretty, uh, you know, solid. They seem pretty good structurally. Um, yeah, they almost look like worms. Leave a comment in the chat if you've seen this before. There's another kind of long slender thing on this um on this uh guide that uh, I've seen before too called Clostarium, but this uh these ones are not the same as that. This is a either Pinularia or Navicula. All right. Cool. They're very slow, which is good because then I can zoom in on them and I can check them out. All right. We got any water bears in here? I really want to find one. I like to, you know, when I find these big chunks of moss, I like to hang out on them for a minute because, as you can see, there's something off to the right underneath the moss and that's y usually the case there's usually something underneath i think because the light is there you know and and they're just soaking it up you know here uh, using the dark field the light is uh, obscured so it's not direct but you know on their scale it's bright enough And uh, the majority of it's probably going to be right, uh, well, inside the slide, really. And inside the water, underneath the moss. I'm going to keep scanning here. Keep scanning through here. Ooh. Oh, little worm party. It's another little worm party. See, they just get stuck to something and they just, you know. Go crazy. I don't know what it, I mean, come on. How is that productive? Is that your exercise? I mean, come on. What are you doing, dude? Are you stuck? They always look like they're stuck. Like, hey, hey, ow, ooh, hey, I want to get away from this piece of moss, but I am stuck. Or is it a worm party and he's just doing a dance? I don't know. I do not know. Leave a comment if you can if you know what he's doing.
It's always a worm party. It's always a worm party on this channel. So I'm just going to keep scanning around. See if I find anything else interesting here, and I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come back to the mossy chunks, those big, big mossy chunks, just to see if I can find anything that's underneath them, soaking up that light, eating up the moss. It's usually where we find things. Uh, the larger things is in the moss, chomping on things, chomping on moss. As long as it's yummy to them, I'm not going to eat no moss. But you guys can eat it. There might even be some duck poop in here. We don't know. They can eat the duck poop. They seem to be happy in here if, if there is. Okay. Let's come back here. Real quick, Let's see if we can figure out what's underneath. Is that a rotifer I see? Come in for another. Oh, no, 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 no! It's not a rotifer. Looks like the Stillantia. Let's see if I can f get closer and find him pops out again here. He was right around in this area. Kind of an oval looking thing with a little tail. Where'd you go, buddy? See, now he knows I'm looking for him. And he's taking cover. Damn. Yeah, these little guys are difficult to get sometimes. But um, one of these days, I'm really, I'm, I'm really hoping to find a tardigrade, and I, I, I think of them as really friendly little. They're like the little, they're like the little puppy dogs of the uh, microcosmos, you know. Water dog, water bear. They got cute little faces. I have not found one yet. But we're going to find one. Just got to keep, keep looking. So, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff in here. Look at this little party down here. Look at all those little guys. They look pretty. They... They look like little crystalline, crystalline objects, little crystalline animals. Look at that. The pinularia. Uh, the lower right, I believe that is the clostarium there. Right there in the lower right, kind of worm-like, S-shaped thing. It's clusterium. What do we have right off to the right there? Is that centaur? That looks too small. And then in the center, looks like we have another flea. Another water flea. Some sort of, um, or maybe Bosmina. There is a lot of life in here. I'm 
looking at that thing over on the right hand side over here. Okay, now in the center, and we've got a swimming little algae. Isn't that nice? It looks like a green brain just swimming in a circle. He's got his right turn signal on, and he's just turning around the world to the right. Just a green floating brain. And then you got all these guys down here. I'm not sure about that um, object in the center with the so on one end it's pointy on one end and it's kind of uh, flat and round on the other. I, I don't know. That's an interesting looking thing. If anyone knows what we're looking at, Please leave a comment. Wouldn't this be a great screensaver? Not bad. There's a lot going on here. I like these little guys. They're slow. They're easier to film. And some of these other guys that just swim around so fast. All right. That's pretty fun. Um, I'm going to go um, for another drop here. See if we find anything else. Um, I deliberately did not get a whole lot of solid material in this last drop because I didn't because I was getting a little too much. It's easy to fill the dropper with too much material. So this time I'm gonna put a try to put a little more than I had the first time. And the reason because I think the larger creatures seem to gravitate towards the the moss and the solid stuff more than just the you know the water in the middle of the sample so that's one two and that's a little too much material so we're gonna clean that out three four five Maybe some more water without. Yeah, there's a lot of sand in here. This might be too dense. We'll see. We're going to look at it anyway. All right. All right. Let's see what we see. Put the slide up onto the stage. Try not to let it spread out on the slide too much. I'm going to put the slide into place. Try not to blind myself as I move it up to the top of the drop. And let's go see what we see in here. Oh, yes, this is a lot more dense. 
I apologize. This might be a little bit difficult to see some things because now we've got a lot of things that are floating in suspension. You can see as I move the focus up to the top. There's a lot of stuff. Well, there's a lot of stuff flo floating on the surface. That's for sure. But of course, we're we're nor we're over here at the top of the drop. So maybe as I move towards the center, it'll get a little bit better. On the first objective here. Oh yeah, this is very dense. A lot going on. You might be watching going, no, there's nothing going on. No, trust me. There's a lot going on in here. There's a nematode. He's having a warm party by himself next to his dead friend, or maybe he's just sleeping. Not sure. Let's come over here into the plant material. See if there's any little guys in here. Little dudes. Happy little bugs. Eating stuff. Swimming around. There are some very small little things. Things that are too small for me to see. Last night we were uh, looking at this uh, clump of moss and there was a nightmarish creature chomping away at the moss. He had little... He had little claws. He had little antennae. Some kind of uh, some kind of nymph-like creature. It was very uh, well. You know what's interesting is that I was looking at that that creature, that scary ass creature, and then I went to bed, and I'm 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 lucky to not have any nightmares from watching that thing. I'm pretty surprised I didn't. But I can't say I slept all that great, you know, after looking at that thing. I don't know. Maybe I did have nightmares and I just don't remember them. There's a tiny little paramecium down there. Tiniest of paramecium's. Another uh, clusterium. I'm going to keep moving. There's a lot of stuff here. It's too much. I, I this is I went too dense on this one. But, you know, it's a balancing act. There's a little worm. Worm like. Yeah, it looks like a small nematode. Little worm party. Oh, he's the same one I was just looking at, huh? Yeah, he's the same one. Okay. Go down. Cut across. Usually I go through these things kind of like, um, you know, mowing the lawn. You just kind of, you know, make a zigzag sort of pattern from the top down to the bottom. I usually do kind of like to pull the focus back up here to see if there's anything crawling on top of this moss. Nothing really. And unfortunately, I put too much on this slide. And we can't see what's below where the light is. My fault. It's a tricky process. It's such a s such small scales we're looking at. A no little paramecium swimming down there.
going to continue scanning through here. There is still, there is a lot of life, especially, you know, down here. All these little slender little guys are animals or plants of one type or another. That one's a little difficult to film since he flips around in the water in three dimensions. A lot of solid stuff here. That's an interesting little blue-green little algae down there. Nice patterns. Reminds me of stained glass. I'm just going to go in on this real quick. I get sidetracked by things like this all the time. Just because it looks neat. Kind of obscured there, but I really like that blue-green color. That's nice. I gotta get out of all this. Oh, there is some movement. And it's another round worm. Worm moving around in there. Yep, nematode. Rather large one. You see that brown coloration on his body and that makes it easier to see in there. Oh, just slithering through. He's a long one. This one's not getting stuck, see? He, he knows what he's doing. He's just slithering through. He is a long nematode. Looks like there might be a couple of them in there. It's hard to tell. But yeah. You know, always a worm party. On this channel. Looks like another little worm down there. Crazy little flippy thing. Swimming around all over the place. really want to find a tardigrade. I don't know if I'll find one in this sample, but one of these days, you know, it'll happen. And it'll probably happen on a live stream where we're just, you know, randomly looking through samples. It should happen one of these days. Just got to keep looking. I'm planning on going tomorrow to uh, collect some, some new samples. And so I'll be back here tomorrow to see what we find. But, uh, yeah. If you enjoy this content, please share, please like, please, uh, you know, let everyone know. Social media, find me on uh, YouTube, Warm Party on YouTube, We're trying to find, trying to get uh, 100 subscribers so we can get a custom URL. Uh, just got on uh, Periscope as Warm Party and uh, now on Twitch as Warm Party 1. 
because somebody took Warren Party, but that's okay. I'll take Warren Party one. One, 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 one. We're number one. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the Warren Party. And uh, find us back here tomorrow. Find some new bugs, new uh, microorganisms, and definitely some new worms because we always find worms on Worm Party. Bye-bye.